Oh! oh. <laughs> Dang it! We are back on the Flatland bike, guys. Another flashback Flatland challenge for Maddie. What's the trick you're gonna be doing today? We're going picking. Cherry picker. Why so, is it called cherry picker? Cherry, cherry, I'm assuming cherries grow on trees? Uh, I think so. I've never seen a cherry tree in my life. I don't actually know. My dad just asked the same questions. He did. He's like, why is it called cherry picker? <laughs> I had, honestly, dad, I have no idea. We just looked it up. From 86 though. Yeah, we were inside the shop trying to imagine what this trick was going to look like. And Maddie ended up getting into a position he didn't know how to get himself out of. And uh, my dad came around the corner and we asked him what he thought the trick was called. And he ended up calling it this. What would you name like it? Jackhammer. Nice. That was, a, that was a cool name for it. We're trying to do the cherry picker. That'd be the nut buster. Right yeah, that there. was a nut buster. Oh. But before we get started, I actually wanted to do a huge shout out to the guy that invented this trick. We read up that the legendary rider Martin Aparillo invented this in 1986. That's crazy to think. That was before I was born and way before Maddie was born. And we're going to try to bring it back to life right now. But Maddie's going to explain of what the process is going to look like. Ah, the good old cherry picker. This is what we're going to be trying to do today. Basically, I'm going to ride up similar to how I was with the, uh, the decade. So I'm gonna have one peg on, or one foot on the back peg, and my left foot, I think, is gonna try and jam the tire inside of here. I do have the like sprocket and chain away, so I don't really know how that wow, works. That's tight. But we did watch somebody do it like this, and apparently it works. So they did. I'm gonna try and jam up in there so that I don't really have to use the back brakes all that much. And from a, a little uh, stoppy motion, I'm gonna try and stand up just like a decade, but instead of jumping off and spinning around really hard to show you but I'm gonna stand over the head tube with my foot in there <laughs> something like this kind of like that but in a wheelie position vertical All wheelie the way up here. Ah! <laughs> it looks terrifying I tried I, let's just point out the fact that Maddie can't really fit his foot in there because yeah, this is a modern day BMX bike and the back end is substantially know. shorter. <laughs> There's just no room for it. It's not all that, and I'm not that flexible at all either. So yeah. you really can't even bend your ankle like that properly. Oh, like this hurts. So uh, I am going to try and stand. Oh, crap. God, yeah. It's not even. So not let's even talk about what you're going to be doing with your hands because I think it's very important. I'm not sure what to do with my hands. So, um, I think you should have the one hand on the brake clearly to be holding yourself in position because, like, yeah, you could perfection. technically do a brakeless if you lock that thing good enough, but yeah, I just but don't see that happening for you with this. I would rather hold on to that back brake. I agree, it's true, because if that gives out, yeah, your boy's giving out. You're right, it's gonna and be he's not getting up, <laughs> you know. So, um, point. I'm gonna leave that hand on the brake for sure. One of the ideas is like once if I get into that position all the way up top is like some people grab the fork. Yeah, I think that's a I think I that know. that makes more sense because now you're balanced. You're holding the bike more evenly and you could like kind of do some stuff. I did people see, they do it with no hands. I know like I they used to have the brakes that locked where they would have the pin in it, but they might have just, yeah, also, you also just had your foot in there, there too. Yeah. So you can technically take your hands off. I don't know if I'm going to get to that point today. There might be an, like an oh crap moment where I just have my hands off and yeah. I'm slowly coming down. So if we get the still frame, could be sick. Well, what about getting out of it? Do you, um, have a, do you have an escape route? They really just said you just kind of fall back over. Like the getting out kind of seems kind of like not easy. But, but it makes more, sense a little bit. Um, you know, fathomable. Because you're just going to kind of unroll and hopefully land back on the pedal. Let's I just want to be in 12 o'clock. On top of this bike, I, I've been so excited to and see look confident. a modern day BMX rider try this trick. Yeah, I've been excited to see it too. I just don't know who's gonna do it. The first official attempt right here, guys. All right, I just gotta get super vertical. That's okay. Just get super I don't vertical. Know how you're gonna stand up on there. Just get super vertical. I just don't know if my ankle is gonna. It, their ankles. As soon that. as you get vertical, it will flatten out. It's only gonna get easier. The steeper you get. Just don't worry about getting over the the that thing no, too I quick. Get it up here though. Yeah, but get that's what I'm saying. Get steeper before you start worrying about rotating over the top of it. I think. Yeah, it's just because you don't have that grip really. Vertical. Oh. Alright, that was better. That didn't feel Dude, good. Dude, it's terrifying. Is it? Your foot's just caught up in the butt. Yeah, it's I, like locks in your foot. I can understand that. Into places that you don't think is really comfortable. Imagine Martin in 1986. Yeah. <laughs> oh, the keys are out. <laughs> you kicked it three times. <laughs> that was ridiculous. Flatland flashback. Come on. Oh, 
Not a good setup, guys. Did that hurt? I just crammed my toe. Oh, no. His Ow. shoe's like about to fall off. Ow. He doesn't have his riding shoes on, by the way, guys. No, these, these are my lunch shoes. <laughs> just got back from lunch, so. Yo! <laughs> now what? Uh, just gotta get on it and start hopping. That's it. You know what to sleeper. do. A little, a little bit. I need that balance up top. Yeah. Yo! Yeah! You got still frames? Still frames? <laughs> yeah, we're good. I'm gonna try and do a less nervous face next time I'm up there. I had my nose like this. It's like biting over my bottom lip. It's really all nervous. Yeah. So I'm gonna do more of like a. All right, do you, man? No, it looks. Maybe I'll take a handle. We're on the head. right track. Hey, listen, just worry about. Just get up there and start hopping, okay? I just don't know. Pogo, pogo, pogo. Oh, my foot. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh, he tried. There's a hop. He tried. I gave him momentum on the way down. All right, we're at like 10 o'clock though. We gotta get to 12. We gotta Boys, get to 12. We need a couple more reps in the gym. Get this a little higher. Yes, that was better. You're making progress. I don't know if you feel progress, it but like 10:30. It looks like it. It is 10:30. Yes. Yes! What'd you do differently on that one? Uh, well, I made I made a plan for myself to push the bike farther this way because my leg is in here, keeps going past the seat. Okay. And clipping the seat when I do it. All right. Like that. So that one, I push the bike over here. All right, we'll do that again. So that right. was great. <laughs> oh! <laughs> I'm gonna, well, I'm gonna try and sand like in here. Oh, here. in the front part of it. Yeah. All right, best of luck. Just a little more room. Okay, so it definitely helps that to get I up get there. More leverage, like I just now you just gotta when you start hopping, it might get a lot more dangerous. But I, I don't, maybe I don't know. I think when you start hopping, it's gotta make sure you're secure in there. I'm gonna try it again, but whoa! <laughs> what happened on that one? I tried to hop right my went to go for my first hop, and I was already falling. So when oh, I went to go gosh. lift, I was already coming in. Whoa, that was scary! Dang it. Yeah! <laughs> Come on, you just gotta get up there and just think pogo, just think pogo. Oh, jacket's coming off, guys. That didn't take very long. So you can see Maddie's got the shop helmet on because we weren't thinking about filming this video. We kind of just showed up here and we were like, let's go film when a video. Things need to happen, they need to happen. <laughs> All right, it's go time. Just to let you guys know it's freezing out. Like my fingers are so red right now. It's like 30? So that's how hard Maddie's working. Vertical. Step. Pretty good. Pretty good. What do you have to say about yourself? You need to jump around more, Matt. Is it? Oh! <laughs> what? Did that hurt? Yeah, I slapped the ground with my hand. Oh, but you slapped I'm it. Fine. I'm fine. I'm just All right. Like, get up. It's too cold down there. I'm just disappointed. It's too cold. Damn, you know when it's 30 degrees out and you leave one of those. <laughs> Lend a little help in hand, now I got the magic of Peter Pan. <laughs> if you say so. Yeet! Oh, dude! That's ridiculous! I told you! You How just gotta you do something that? nice for somebody real quick. That's <laughs> all you gotta do. <laughs> See? Repaid the favor. We just took like a uh, 45 second break because the guy that just bought a bike here, he was trying to fit his like big size, like uh, it almost looked like a mountain bike to his uh, Jeep and it, it was not working. So I was like, Matt, go tell him you can take the front wheel off. So Matty went and helped him, showed him how to do it. It comes back over here and lands that. I mean, how, did, how does that make you feel, that one? You did like three bounces, jump back on, like technically it was a cherry picker. You're dang right. It felt good. I got had it in control. I knew I shouldn't be up there for any longer than I have to. And it's funny, <laughs> as I was walking over here before, I thought, I said, which way are you supposed to step out of this? Like I thought in my head, I was like, I don't know if I'm supposed to finish it yeah. or come back. So I made the executive decision in my own head that I'm gonna come back to the same exact foot. And when I just got up there, I was like, 
step off and land it right on the pedal. Yeah, the pedal seems like it was right there, See? ready to go. Now I don't need to be in the cold <laughs> that anymore. That was the fastest cherry picker I've ever seen in my life. And I picked <laughs> plenty of cherries. <laughs> who, who wants them? So guys, I hope you enjoyed this Flatland flashback. And if any of you old school riders out there have any ideas for tricks that Maddie should try, please put it in the comments. So guys, we'll see you in the next one. Peace.